cool. Yeah. Spencer, uh, we just spoke to Bilal and he described it as a perfect game for a neutral. From a manager's point of view, what would you say? No, I quite enjoyed it tonight. Um, yeah, it would have been. The atmosphere in the ground was good. Don't always get that kind of noise, so that was that was really good for for the players and and for us. Um, banter on the touchline was nice with uh, Craig and Husey from from Cheshunt. So uh, yeah, it was enjoyable. Uh, draw probably a fair result in the end, uh, but yeah, it was strangely enough. Yeah, I enjoyed it as, as much of a helter skelter game as it was. Obviously, this is not something you'd convey to the players, but to you, did it feel like the last game before the end because of the lockdown situation? I don't know if it did. I tried to speak to the boys before and say that this is the last game you're going to play for a while, so leave it all out there. And I think for the first 10 or 15 minutes, it was a bit frantic and it felt like a like a derby game that it, that it was. And, and perhaps the quality wasn't there because players were flying in here, there and everywhere. And uh, I think once the game settled down, it the, the, the standard of football played was, was, was pretty good from both sides. So it was... Yeah, it was a good one to leave um, the fans with, hopefully, and then in four weeks' time or whenever it is we come back, hopefully the majority of them will come, come back and support us again. If we were to go through your old interviews and find the one thing you keep saying, it's scoring from crosses, scoring from crosses. Both goals today, again, crosses, you're probably delighted with that. Yeah, look, we practice it, and that's, and that's the point. Um, yeah, the majority of goals in football come from crosses, I say it all the time, and that's because they're difficult to deal with. And... Um, We've got players at this club, Bilal, who you've already spoken to, who've got good delivery. And yeah, if you keep making the right runs, and, and fantastic run from Charlie Edwards for the first one to break from midfield so late in the game, to, to, to have the desire to go and score a goal, and then Goldie at the end, exactly the same. We, I spoke to the players earlier on in the season when things weren't really going our way and saying that they needed that desire both in our box and, and in the opposition box and they're showing that now so that's that's pleasing. I keep talking about learning from mistakes and, and hopefully we're doing that as well. In terms of the goals we are conceding, today the first goal was a, a scream, not much, at least from our point of view that could have been done there and the second a little bit questionable but they weren't the individual errors, perhaps, that were happening before. No, no. If you look at the first goal, it's a, it's a great strike from the lad. Um, I said it to him as he came off. It was a, a, a brilliant strike. But if me being critical, we've won the first header from a long throw and then not cleared our line. So look, every goal is avoidable. But, yeah, fair play to the lad. It was a great strike. And then the second one, um, yeah, I'd like to watch it back again. But I think, I think we were beaten a little bit too easy. Should realise the lad's left-footed. And, um, yeah, it's a nice finish from him. But... Yeah, again, all goals are avoidable, and I'm sure they'll be saying the same about our goals. Competition in the squad is pretty strong at the moment, and none more so maybe in goal. We've had Miles come in, uh, and now Fergal obviously played on Saturday and today. Yep. Has he impressed? Yeah, he's done well. You can't argue with his performance on Saturday. Got us through in the trophy, and then tonight, I think mate, the second one maybe he might he, he might feel he could have done better, but apart from that, solid performance. So. That's what we want, and it's it's not just in goal; it's all over. I changed both full backs again tonight. Um, changed centre forward, made another change in midfield, and the boys who are stepping in are hungry. Um, I thought Yannick was outstanding tonight. Jardel was well at the back, um, and yeah, really pleased for Goldie. He's been out in the cold a little bit. Took a bit of a knock earlier on in uh, in the month, and yeah, to, to throw him on with. Four or five minutes to go and him to get, him to get the equaliser. Yeah, really pleased for him and hopefully that he can kick on and get more goals for us. Final question. Uh, it's going to be a weird month, maybe six weeks, who knows. How are you going to work with the players to, and the rest of the staff through this month? So we've spoken about it already. We'll, we'll try and do the, the Zoom training and those kind of things. There's, there's some apps out there that we can use to try and keep the boys uh, together and, and keep him fit. Uh, I'm sure a few of them will, will, will take the opportunity to perhaps have a week off, which some of them will need. We've, we've had a quite an uh, intense schedule already. So, yeah, a little breather's not too bad. But then I, I said to them after the game that we now need to, to kick on. We've, we've played eight games in the league, uh, 10 points so far, and I want us to start looking up the division. I don't want to be looking over our shoulder like we were last year. We've played the team that are second in the league tonight, and they're a good side, and, and we matched them. And there's no reason why, when we get back into, into the swing of things, I want us to start kicking on and... and can we, can we start looking towards the playoffs? I've, I've set that challenge for the boys and some people might think it's ambitious, but that's what we're looking at. The quality that we've got, the depth in the squad, and 
there's no reason why this football club can't kick on and be be up there towards the end of the season. So that's what we're looking for. Brilliant. Uh, take care. Look after your family, and hopefully see you soon. Nice one. Cheers, boys. Cheers.